Nice shot, man. Okie dokie, y'all. This is going to be the third attempt out. And uh, conditions are calming down. It's warmed up a little bit. And uh, we're just looking for the right bull that we can get close to, get in bow range, you know. It is rifle season. Um, and I do have my 308 with me, but I don't, I don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. The ultimate thrill for me is to uh, get in bow range with these guys. The calling was working a little bit this morning. Um, is at least getting them to, you know, come out, but we just couldn't get in bow range. Um, and then we spooked some up. We got out of there after we saw how thick it was and uh, just didn't want to bump any more elk and spook anymore. So now we're going to go back out, try to get on that big one, y'all. Wish me luck.
It's looking this way. Moved like 300 yards. Let's press up one more race, just see if we can get out. All right, guys. We just tried to chase this bull. And in and up bumping. Time to get down to business. Morning three. I am breaking out the rifle. Gotta have it just in case. This bull last night, so awesome. Got close, called him in three times. He just would not get close enough, wouldn't step out of some cover. Tricky. I like that ridge. I like the possibility of being able to get on that bull and uh, being able to take him with the rifle if I need to. Gotta get it done. And it is rifle season. Ultimate goal, get him with the bow, but 
I'm taking an elk out of here. Okay, so I got the, the brace built 308 with me. I'm taking my bow um, and we're about to hop in the mule, head up to the mountaintop, probably do some glassing again, see if we can get them uh, either bugling or spotted and then make a game plan from there. But we're taking both things. We're slinging arrows or slinging lead and elk is going down, my friends. We are up here on top of the ridge. Yesterday, this is where we spotted this big shooter bull. And this is where he's settling in. I've already heard him bugle once this morning. He has a very distinct bugle. It's very raspy. And uh, he's the biggest bull that's living down here in this canyon. The whole ultimate goal is to get, get one of these big bulls to come in with a bow. But so far, you know, just calling last night, just couldn't get him to fully commit. And uh, I'm trying to get better at calling. I feel like I'm just like, I'm not closing the gap fully, but I'm getting better, learning every time I go. All right, guys, it is go time. We're gonna get it done either way. Let's have some fun.
right above the oval.
Again. Same spot. Wait for me. Good shot. Load one more just in case. Good shot. He's going over. Nice shot. Nice shot. ravine we have some buggies but they're a long ways from us at the top of this ridge when we chase this guy down here so gonna be a workout getting him out but that's part of the fun <sighs> this bull's huge guys yes that's what we came up here for baby This is my first time actually holding the horns of a bull on my own bull. I got to see one other go down this trip. These things are massive. You can't even really, really tell until you actually hold a real one. Oh my gosh, that's the size of a horse, man. He's beautiful. Beautiful, man. Beautiful shot, too. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> God, he's gorgeous, man. That is gorgeous. What a beautiful bull. Good old mature bull. Long fronts. <laughs> Unreal. All right. So this is the part that YouTube really doesn't like these days. I think it's important to show processing and everything but I know YouTube's just gonna kill this video if I show it so obviously guys this is a big animal and uh, can't all fit in this pack so we're gonna have to make multiple trips I'm trying to get a hold of Jared outlaw and some of the other guys mullet man is literally he's hunting like half a mile from here right now um, so he's still in the middle of his hunt but definitely need some help we're gonna quarter the elk and then put them in these game bags and then carry them back to camp where we can process them further. Uh, so ex so exciting, I can finally tell Stephanie, babe, I got an elk. We're gonna have meat for, for a long time, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna put all my camera equipment and all of my extra stuff inside of the main compartment of the bag. And then we'll detach this frame, fill up the game bags, put them in here, and then pack them out. Giant. <laughs> Big boy. Big boy. Got it all quartered. Heading back. Mission accomplished. If you listen closely right now, you can hear some bugles. 
in the morning sunlight. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Last night was an epic end to this trip. Me and Mike actually ended up shooting giant bulls, bulls of a lifetime. That was not the bull that we were, we were chasing down. I uh, originally saw this bull in this, this canyon that uh, was, was a great bull, but he just ghosted us. You know, we tried to catch up to him three times. He disappeared, and then I just saw this little spike that ran through the woods as we were trekking to go call for that other bull. And then right behind him was a giant, giant bull. And then they just get lost in those cedars, but we just got down in there. Uh, we were about to start calling and then heard, heard that spike up again and the other you know, giant bull was behind me, guys. It was crazy. I, I will most likely never shoot a bull that size ever again. You know, for hunting public land for the last couple years, I really wanted to see, see what the private land was all about because I'd heard just hunting with other guys like, you gotta do, you gotta do this, you gotta experience this as well. And I did and I feel like what we experienced out here this week is, is how hunters would see elk a hundred years ago. You know, I heard, I heard more bugles in that first evening than I did uh, in, you know, two weeks hunting public land in the woods. And uh, it's still my ultimate goal to get an archery elk on uh, public lands in the future. I'm going to strive for that, but I'm glad I got to experience this and really learn a lot too. You know, I did, I did all my own calling this week. It was my, my first time doing that. And I just, I just felt a lot more comfortable uh, getting those interactions. I, I wasn't able to fully close the gap with the bow. I got, I got many close, uh, close encounters where they kind of step out, you know, of 100 yards. But I did get a few really awesome interactions where I'd get them to come in, you know, 70, 80, up to 40 yards. Uh, there's really no reason to bugle out here because <laughs> these babies are screaming at each other constantly. There's one right there. It's beautiful and it's eerie. They they literally have been haunting my dreams. These bugles. So I'm just I'm just so thrilled that we got to hunt up here and experience what we did, and we're going home with a ton of meat. The only downside is I literally don't have a uh, a place to to do a uh, shoulder mount for this elk. So I guess I'm gonna have to keep it at the Guggen Squad HQ for a while. Well guys, I'm gonna grab me a cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna enjoy some morning bugles with the sun coming up. But thank you guys for tuning in uh, to another awesome experience in the great outdoors. You gotta smash that like button for big old elks bugling up here in the mountains. And uh, Godspeed in all of your outdoor adventures. I will see you guys on the next one.